Hello, fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about DC Multiverse Green Lantern John Stewart. And this is a DC Rebirth version. So here we have John Stewart and some accessories. On the side here, we have DC Multiverse Green Lantern John Stewart. On the back here, we have Green Lantern John Stewart DC Rebirth. You can see him some artwork from the comics and we can see some of the figures that were released at the same time. So here we have Green Lantern John Stewart DC Rebirth. So if I put them on my scale, we'll see that. Mr. Stewart's coming in at 10 ounces even. So let's get them off the scale and out of the box. Okay, now that we have him out of the box, we see his card here. And we have his data file. Please pause to read. So John Stewart comes with a couple of accessories here. First, we see this backpack. Definitely a U.S. military style backpack. We have a peg hole for the thing. Now he also comes with this Green Lantern armor that goes over his head. Let's see, we have a hole here for his ring symbol. And Mr. Stewart also comes with this Gatling gun. Yes, this came out before the, the DC decided no more guns in their toys. Now to put this on, you just simply put it over his head and chest. But before we do that, let me get my light on so we can look at Mr. Stewart. And it's not Jimmy Stewart, it's John Stewart. And not the John Stewart that's on The Daily Show. Kind of love that show. Anyway, so here we have John Stewart in his Green Lantern outfit. Definitely love the Green Lantern symbol there and the armor that's going on around here. see the details in that leg going down into his boots more up here and a good face sculpt now John Stewart can turn his head left and right pretty good up and down he has these gap guards for the shoulder and we're gonna to have to apply some pressure because he's been here for a little while he's got that nice clicking action so here we can see he does a nice t-pose arms go all the way around bicep swivel double bend in the elbow wrists that are on a ball jointed hinge peg allows the wrist to pretty go pretty good motion as far as ab crunch goes you got a pretty good one however when you do that you'll have a little bit of a gap here same in the back whenever you do that now there's no waist swivel but you can use that bend to get them a little bit more far as leg splits go he can do this much that much forward double bend in the knee as well as a ball jointed hinge here for the ankle to allow for forward and backward movement as well as a toe bend now he does have a hole on each foot for 
the McFarlane stands. Now, like I said, the armor just simply attaches over his chest here. That you can then attach the backpack to him to tighten it down a little bit more so it stays on a little bit more flushed. It's very nice. Then you can have him grab this big old Gatling gun in his hands and use it. And you'll see here, here's his ring. And if you get close enough, you can actually see the Green Lantern symbol, which is very nice. They got it in there for that small of a piece. Now, if I can just get a thumb to cooperate right with me, I can get this up here and get him to hold it. Very, very nice. It would have been even cooler if you could put some effects on there, but this is still very, very nice. Now, John Stewart is coming in right at seven and a quarter. So that means he will fit in with other members of the Justice League. Here's the Who is Wonder Woman. You can see they fit in nicely. So if you're looking for this character, it is sold out on other places, so you will have to find it. I found it at the swap meet going around. So I got it at a good price, too. So, remember, shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.